Tim. Look! It literally just happened. There are so many plays here. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Classified Captures. Today's compilation promises to excite, scare, and keep you on the edge of your seats. Ready? Let's jump right into it. Shit started coming, eh? I was like, what the fuck? I believe you not, dude. Like, I never saw you this shit ever happen before in my life. Tell me. Are they rapping shit now? When we say the world is getting stranger by the day, it's no joke. Take a look at this footage, for instance. A man purchased watermelon, and here's what happened. <laughs> yup, he's rinsing the watermelon, and the skin with the patterns is just peeling off as though it were a sticker. I've always thought of people who say the government was messing with our foods as conspiracy theorists, but with the kind of things I'm seeing of late, I'm tempted to believe them. Perhaps we ought to take this news and research into genetically modified food more seriously than we are. Do you guys think we need to be extra careful with our food? Has anyone encountered something like this? Kindly share your thoughts and experiences in the comments section. I'll be reading. Shit started coming, eh? I was like, what the fuck? A motorbike rider was cruising through a deserted area when he came across this unusual sight. A lifeless goat seated like a human leaning against a pole. Now this certainly isn't your usual sight, so what could be happening here? Some link it to a dark connection, hinting at a possible involvement in a satanic ritual where symbolism and ritualistic acts are thought to possess mysterious powers. Others connect it to the realm of voodoo, a practice deeply rooted in various cultures that involves manipulating energies and forces. But what or who do you think could have arranged this surreal seating of the goat? Is it dark arts, a venture into the occult, or maybe a mischievous prankster with a theatrical touch? Share your thoughts in the comments. While driving through a deserted land in the middle of nowhere at night, a man came across this, a burning humanoid figure coming from the shadows walking along the path. As if the scene wasn't eerie enough, local stories add another layer to this mystery. People in the area tell tales of a flaming witch. By that, I mean a ghostly figure known to roam the land covered in flames. But those aren't real, right? Or are they? Well, you've seen the footage yourselves. Please share your thoughts and experiences, if any. I'm particularly interested in the experience, or this one. This is definitely too weird to be a coincidence. Someone spotted these two strange white cats looking at him while he was filming. One was sitting behind the other, its head right above the one in front of it. Both were staring so intently at the camera, which he found odd and strange. Not long after, another white cat, identical to the two, came and sat in front of the two with its head positioned beneath the one behind it. All three cats just sitting and watching the camera with an airy look in strange alignment. What do you think could be going on here? Is it just a coincidence that three white cats decided to ogle a person, or is there something else behind this incident? Perhaps a glitch in the matrix or some sort of omen? In this recent video, someone captured a peculiar light bouncing around in the night sky. Some suggest it could be an ether ship plasma energy, evoking thoughts of extraterrestrial phenomena, a mysterious craft navigating the celestial canvas. Skeptics opted for more grounded explanations. Some stated that it might be an unconventional aircraft, atmospheric anomalies, or the interplay of light reflecting off earthly objects. What's your perspective on this cosmic light display? Is it the dance of an ether ship, a celestial energy phenomenon, or is there a more earthly explanation for this captivating show in the night sky? 
A curious individual casting a line into the calm pond came across a strange occurrence. Take a look. At first, we're introduced to what looks like a square-shaped organism peacefully floating on the water's surface. Within seconds, the one solid entity undergoes a perplexing transformation. The square-shaped organism disintegrates, breaking down into a cascade of tiny balls that scatter into the water. The sudden and surreal spectacle begs the question, what could this be? Is it a natural phenomenon, a unique organism with a brief and fleeting existence, or does it suggest something more mysterious beneath the plant's surface? While I want to think those are alien ships, Julius, our geek, states that we may actually be looking at a slow-feeding mechanism for the plants. While that does sound logical, you have to agree that it's less exciting. Anyway, what do you guys think? Strange creatures or slow dissolving food? Share your thoughts. UAPs, UFOs, and aliens have become topics that have made their way in the mainstream media in recent times. Although there hasn't been any evidence to prove their existence and authenticity, there is a class of people who believe they're real. Now take a look at this footage, for instance. There is what looks like a cloaked craft in the sky, and you can even see the silhouette of someone walking inside. Sometimes light can play tricks on your eyes, so some believe that this is just Fate Morgana, a trick of the light. However, there are some who are convinced that we're looking at a genuine cloaked UAP in the sky. What do you think? Still on floating objects, this strange object was found floating in the sky in France, Paris to be specific. It's a vertical black rectangle. His theory started swirling. Some believe it could be the crafty work of artificial intelligence, a digital apparition painted onto the sky. Others with eyes to the extraterrestrial entertain the notion that it might be something alien, perhaps a cosmic visitor making a statement. What's your take on this avant-garde Parisian spectacle? A creation of AI artistry or a sign of something beyond our earthly comprehension? If you haven't already hit the like button, subscribed, or even dropped a comment so far, could you please do so now? It goes a long way to help us make more of these videos for you. Thank you so much. Now back to today's episode. Check this out. A guy's normal drive turns into a surprise after he stops at a red light. A little creature, about two feet tall, zooms across the street super fast. At first, you might think it's just a stray animal common in cities, but a closer look at the video and you'll see that the creature appears to be walking on two legs, so definitely not your regular four-legged animal. Now, the big question is, what is this two-legged thing? My mind naturally thought of a tiny monkey, but the uploader says there's none in the area. He suspects it's a paranormal creature, and given the circumstances, well, you can't fault him for thinking that way. But do tell me, what do you see when you look at the creature? What do you think it was doing out there at that time of night? Next, we visit Florida, where individuals were greeted with an unexpected yet vibrant display in their skies. Take a look. Look! Yes, you're seeing right. There appears to be a bright orange light behind the clouds in the sky, and that naturally had the whole place lit orange. Here's the twist. The mysterious glowing ball in the sky isn't just hanging there. It starts moving, making everyone wonder what's going on. As it comes out from behind the clouds, it turns out to be a bright orange orb, and nobody can easily explain it. Some in the paranormal community think it's the government responsible for using their blue beam technology, but that's hard to prove on our side, even though we have our theories. What do you think about the whole thing, though? 
Next, you might want to hold onto your sombreros because we've got a celestial spectacle in the Mexican skies that's sparking quite the debate. In the footage, you can see a strange star-shaped object gracefully descending behind some bushes. It's the kind of sight that looks like it's straight out of a sci-fi movie. As the footage circulates, opinions started pouring in. Some pragmatic folks suggest it might be a balloon or perhaps a drone, while others with an extraterrestrial flair throw the idea of an alien craft into the mix. But here's where it takes a turn toward the mystical. There are whispers of it being an angel. Yeah, you heard it right. An angelic being descended from the heavens. Evidence-wise, well, there's not much to go on there. But what's your take on this mysterious Mexican sky show? A mere balloon or drone? A potential UFO? Or perhaps an angelic visitation? Training animals to perform tricks is nothing new. We see a lot of street performers with dogs, birds, and cats. Some even train seals and dolphins to put on a good show. However, here we have someone who claims he can train insects. In this strange insect extravaganza, the man uses his hands to direct the bee, and the tiny performer follows suit. The bee rolls a flat object on the table with a precision that could rival well-trained pets, navigating a straight line without losing focus. It's a spectacle that raises eyebrows and prompts a whole new set of questions. Can insects truly be trained to perform tricks, or is this a case of clever camera work and illusion? Still in Mexico, or rather on the waters of Mexico, sea voyagers bear witness to not one, but five water spots. These twisting tall columns of wind descend from the clouds to the water, resembling thin, spinning tubes or ropes hanging down from the heavens. They're like mini tornadoes over the water, a natural spectacle that's both fascinating and formidable. While these watery whirlwinds can be a captivating display of nature's forces, it's crucial to approach them with caution. Water spouts, unpredictable by nature, can unleash strong winds and pose a risk, especially for those on boats. This is the track we're talking about here. Locals in a quiet rural area stumble upon a giant footprint in the mud, and it's no ordinary print. This footprint, etched in the earth, reveals the distinct features of a Bigfoot track, massive in size, with toes clearly imprinted in the mud. Uh, yeah, we was uh, noticing the, the toenail marks on here, as you can see in the camera here. Yeah, right in that area right there. Could this be evidence of the elusive Bigfoot roaming the rural landscape, leaving its mark in the mud? Some do think so, but what do you think? Now, what do we have here? This strange creature was found floating in the sea by some fisher folks. Despite their experience at sea, they claim that they've never seen anything like this. It had two humanoid heads and the rest of its body looked like it was made of tentacles. But then again, it looked nothing like an octopus. Naturally, they uploaded this online and it spread like wildfire since. Some think we might be dealing with a sea monster with two heads, whilst some are wondering if it's a sea monster we're yet to document. Julius believes there must be a logical explanation to this, whilst Aaron thinks it's a sign we have been judged by the sea gods. What's your take on this? This footage was taken in southern India. In the footage, we see a huge beam of light coming from the mountains that lights up its surroundings in a strange orange glow. The light starts on the ground and goes up into the sky. It looks nothing like an explosion or regular light, but it does bring to mind the Florida video from earlier. So what could this be? 
Some netizens think it could be aliens, perhaps a signal from outer space. Others wonder if it's just a natural thing, like a special play of light and air that we don't yet understand. I don't want to think it's an alien signal because that's well, never good news, but then again, it's possible this is just another phenomenon we know nothing about. Anyway, what's your idea about what's going on in this unusual scene? The concept of a matrix glitch often emerges when people encounter inexplicable or seemingly contradictory situations that challenge our understanding of reality. Take a look at this footage, for instance. A man is swinging in a chair, his arm seemingly hooked into the chair's arm. However, as soon as he stands up, his hand is magically out of the chair's hook. This is what people consider a glitch in the Matrix. Although skeptics may think that it could be a trick of perspective, many in the paranormal community think we're looking at a modern glitch. Having seen it, what do you think it is? Watch this footage closely and tell me where the man in the pink shirt came from. Take a look at the footage again. A man in a pink shirt seemingly materializes out of thin air in front of a woman in a costume. He appears to be filming her, and what's more perplexing, neither the woman nor the people around seem to notice his sudden appearance. Is this a glitch in the Matrix, a momentary rift in the fabric of reality where someone crosses over from the unseen? Share your thoughts. A similar thing happens in this footage as well. A family was taking a video with their backs turned to the camera when all of a sudden a boy in a blue shirt appeared out of nowhere and climbed the railing. Let's watch that again. Do you see that? There's no sign of him being there until he just pops out of nowhere and climbs the railing. The family, caught up in their own thing, doesn't seem to notice this unexpected addition. Is this just camera angles, or is there another case of a glitch in the Matrix? It literally just happened. There are so many police here now. It's crazy. So these two cars, and they found some of the landing gear over there. They think it was the United 777. In this parking lot, something fell from the sky, landing on the back of a car and totally crushing its roof. And <laughs> look at the fence behind as well. It looks bent backwards. Some people said that it was the landing gear of a plane that fell down, but there's no indication of the said object on the scene of the incident. Looking at the condition of the car and the fence, the impact needed to cause this much damage is very huge. Luckily, there was no one in the car and no one was hurt. But still, how did the landing gear just fall off? Now, whenever we leave our homes, we should not only watch out for bad guys and aliens, but also look up in case a landing gear is just heading for our heads. A woman was piloting a chopper over the coastal lands of Hawaii when all of a sudden the engine failed. The craft almost tipped over and fell. But here's where the plot takes a thrilling turn. This woman is no ordinary pilot. In a split-second decision, she engages in auto-rotation, a daring maneuver that allows her to navigate the failing chopper safely to the beach below. Talk about a close call. Millions of fish are washing up on the shores of Hakodate, Japan, and people are getting worried. 
Quite recently, there was news about releasing radioactive waste from a nuclear power plant in Japan into the ocean. This has led people speculating and wondering if there is any connection between this and the release of radioactive waste. There are some groups of people who hold a more religious explanation for this Fitch situation. They believe that this might be a sign at the end of times, as per prophecies in their religions. What do you think? Take a journey into the heart of the city, deep underground, where a network of ossuaries hold the remains of around six to seven million people. The footage shows an eerie scene of human skeletons arranged in a meticulous pattern. Back in the 18th century, these catacombs were made to keep the remains of the dead because there was not enough space for burial grounds. The bones of millions were carefully moved underground, creating a surreal space where the deceased could rest in a new way. Is this a place you'd visit? I don't know about you, but I doubt I can bring myself to do this. Some even speculate that it was not a burial place, but a place where large-scale murders were carried out. What do you think, though? Would you look at that? On a talk show, the world's tallest man, Kozen, and the smallest woman, Amj, were the guests. Hello, Hello, How are you? Sultan Kozen from Turkey is the Guinness World Record holder for being the tallest living man. He owes his towering height to acromegaly, a condition caused by the excessive production of growth hormones. And then there is Jyoti Amj from India, who holds the record for the smallest woman. Her petite stature is due to a type of primordial dwarfism, a condition marked by significantly smaller size. Just look at the height difference. <laughs> this is incredible. They make the most of their conditions. Hopefully, this steers the disability conversation toward a positive light. Deep within the shadows of an ancient forest, a trail cam captures an image that defies comprehension. At first glance, this creature appears to be a monstrous apparition, its features obscured by the darkness that surrounds it. The gnarled trees with their twisted branches seem to bow in submission to this beastly presence. Zooming in, our worst fears are confirmed. This creature with its menacing form elicits a sense of dread that sends a chill down our spines. Its eyes glow with an otherworldly intensity, and its body adorned with scales and sharp dagger-like claws exudes an aura of malevolence. What kind of nightmarish entity could this be? In the realm of reality, this creature is none other than the majestic Komodo dragon, a remarkable species that holds dominion in the Indonesian islands. Known for its immense size and powerful presence, the Komodo dragon is a true marvel of the natural world. Belonging to the Varende monitor lizard family, it thrives in diverse habitats from arid grassland to lush rainforests. Equipped with sharp claws and a keen sense of smell, it's a formidable predator capable of detecting prey from great distances. While its appearance may be intimidating, it plays a vital role in the delicate balance of its ecosystem. The Komodo dragon, with its awe-inspiring characteristics, serves as a reminder of the remarkable diversity that exists in our world. What do you think? Hold on to your seats, ladies and gentlemen, for the next footage will send shivers down your spine. As the video unfolds before your eyes, you'll notice a figure racing through the darkness. At first glance, it may seem ordinary, but hold on tight, for in a matter of moments, this mysterious entity slowly dissolves into thin air, leaving behind nothing but an airy emptiness. Skeptics may scoff and attribute this phenomenon to a mere trick of the camera, a clever manipulation of light and shadow. But let us not dismiss the possibility that something far more extraordinary is at play here. In the realms of Slavic mythology, tales abound of mystical creatures capable of materializing before our very eyes. Could it be that this fleeting apparition is a glimpse into the world where legends come to life? In a world filled with the unexpected, who's to say that what we witness in this footage is not a glimpse into a realm beyond our comprehension? Or do we suspect that this is nothing more than an elaborate attempt to mislead all who believe in the paranormal? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section.
In the hazy light of the morning, a jogger stumbles upon a puzzling sight, a black creature lying on the path, its back turned toward the camera. The observer is left bewildered, unable to discern the true nature of this enigmatic being. From the glimpse we catch, it appears to possess two pointed ears reminiscent of both feline and canine features. As we seek to unravel the mystery, one possibility comes to mind, a resemblance to a cow or a bull. These majestic animals boast a considerable size and can possess ears that align with the description provided. However, without further details or visual evidence, arriving at a definitive conclusion remains elusive. But what do you think of the whole thing? Tell us in the comments section. Speaking of aliens, this next image was taken on a trail camera at around 3.45 a.m. The camera was one to one and a half miles off the road and on private property. In the image, we can see a man in a white top and trousers. He had in his hand a storage box. However, what captures attention and sparks intrigue is the peculiar appearance of the man's face. With many questions looming, theories began to fly out of the community. Some suggested it could simply be a man wearing a hat. Others thought it had to be otherworldly, and some also believed it was an extraterrestrial trying to blend in. Which of these do you think is most likely the situation? Share your thoughts in the comments section. I have much to say, but perhaps in the next episode. Until then, enjoy. The next clip comes from a man who took a picture as he was exploring the woodlands close to his home. Unknown to him, he'd captured something that many have only dreamed of seeing. If you pay attention to the image on your screen right now, you should see just in front of the woods stood an eight to nine feet tall creature. The creature is dog fur and is staring straight into the camera. You tell me that's not a Bigfoot. Yet, as with all things extraordinary, skepticism rears its head, with many doubters suggesting it to be nothing more than a hoax. Some stated it was a cleverly edited image, while others suggested it was perhaps a person concealed within a well-designed costume. But what do you say? Is this real, or do you think it's a hoax? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section. If you haven't already hit the like button, subscribed, or even dropped a comment so far, could you please do so now? I don't want Aaron sending a skinwalker after you. Now back to today's episode. In the veil of night, a peculiar figure emerges on the streets, captured by the unblinking eye of a security camera. The sighting of this woman amidst the rain and cold evokes an airy sense of curiosity. Why would someone be venturing out through the town at such a late hour? Her presence is shrouded in mystery as she materializes from the darkness, moving with an unsettling rhythm. The security footage captures her pacing for a brief moment before continuing her nocturnal odyssey. In another bewildering scene, she approaches a house only to abruptly turn away and vanish into the night. The enigma deepens. The woman's movements exhibit a surreal quality, as if she's disconnected from her surroundings or entranced in a different realm. Sleepwalking is a possibility that comes to mind as her demeanor suggests a state of unconsciousness. Alternatively, she may be a lost soul seeking refuge and safety in the depths of the night. The motives behind her wanderings remain elusive, leaving us to ponder the mysteries that lie beneath her seemingly aimless journey. What do you think is happening here? In the depths of the secluded woods, a curious man sets up a trail cam, eager to capture evidence of a rumored predator lurking on his property. With hopes high, he goes as far as setting bait, a hefty piece of meat tied to a stick to entice the elusive creature. However, what he discovers in the footage is something entirely unexpected. Behold, a figure clad in white garments dragging along a trash bag. At first glance, one might mistake this individual for a homeless person wandering through the wilderness. But here's the kicker. The location is so remote that no individuals are known to live there. 
As though that's not weird enough, the strange individual's peculiar behavior catches the observer's attention as he crouches and moves around the vicinity of the meat, engaging in a strange ritual of sorts before eventually wandering off into the unknown. As we unravel the layers of this mystifying encounter, the question remains, what could be the true nature of this enigmatic figure? Is it a lost soul seeking solace within the depths of the forest, or is there a deeper meaning to their actions? What do you guys think? During a walk through the wilderness, someone came across this hole in the ground. Usually looking at the hole, you would think it was some kind of pit or watering hole, but instead it was something entirely different. As our curious wanderer trains the camera lens on this unsuspecting hole, brace yourselves for the jaw-dropping revelation. Instead of the anticipated pit, what's unveiled is a mysterious spiral staircase leading into the depths of the earth. <laughs> yeah, you heard that correctly, an underground facility right there in the heart of the wilderness. This facility had lights on it that were still switched on. Now, either this is like one of those World War bunkers that had some pretty good technology that can keep the lights on for all these years, or this is a secret facility. If it's the former, kudos to the engineers who crafted the bunker that can keep the lights on for what seems like forever. But if it's the latter, then we have a problem. What could they be hiding from us that requires a top secret underground facility in the heart of the wilderness? Imagine walking out of your room to enjoy the evening sky and then coming across this. While the visual spectacle is undeniably captivating, let's not forget that lurking beneath the mesmerizing display is a force of nature that demands respect. The sheer power and unpredictability of these bolts makes them a force to be reckoned with. As we marvel at the awe-inspiring beauty of the night sky set ablaze, it's crucial to acknowledge the inherent danger that accompanies such displays. Lightning storms, as spectacular as they may look, can be very dangerous. Observe the appropriate precautions during such storms and whatever you do. Don't pick up your camera and stand in the rain trying to get a picture. You might not make it back home. Our next video clip gives us something on the wild, yet reproductive side of things in the wild. In the clip, we hear strange vocalizations that are seemingly coming from an unknown wild creature. But trust me when I tell you that the creature responsible for the noise is anything but known. The vocalizations you hear are being made by bucks driven by desire and competition. The unleash a symphony of vocalizations ranging from ethereal calls to primal grunts with their aim being twofold. First, to captivate potential mates, and secondly, to ward off rival bucks. The forest has essentially become a stage, with each sound carrying the weight of untamed passion and primal instinct. It's a dance of strength and dominance, an ancient ritual that unfolds amidst the wild landscape. Yes, I can keep up this tone and tell you how epic the whole thing is, but what I'm really communicating is this. If you ever walk into the woods and hear them doing this, you might want to turn around and leave them alone, lest you become an enemy they won't mind cutting down. In the depths of the forest, a seasoned Bigfoot researcher embarks on a daring quest, driven by whispers and sightings of an elusive creature. Armed with determination and a keen eye, the researcher finds themselves face to face with the mysterious being, capturing an image that defies clarity and leaves us yearning for answers. The figure in the photograph, bearing an uncanny resemblance to the creature previously encountered on video, stands as a testament to the existence of the legendary Bigfoot. Yet, the fleeting nature of the encounter lends an air of mystique, with the creature vanishing into the shadows before further evidence could be obtained. The blurred quality of the image becomes a tantalizing enigma, leaving us to decipher its secrets. Not only does the photograph pique our intrigue, but it's accompanied by a significant discovery, the tracks left behind by this enigmatic creature. 
These footprints surpassing the size of a human's and exhibiting a human-like shape, but with an astonishing depth, reveal the immense weight and scale of the being that traverses the forest. Such evidence bolsters the belief that this is indeed a manifestation of the elusive Bigfoot. What do you think, though? Next up, we have today's bonus segment. Can you accurately tell me what the creature in this capture is? If you can, kindly do so in the comments section and start your comment with bonus footage. Don't forget to add one interesting fact about what you see, just to make sure we know what you're talking about. The most accurate comment with the most interesting fact wins a chance to be featured in our future videos. This is a chance you certainly cannot pass by. We can't wait to read your answers. Our next clip features a creature that was liberated from its icy confines. What the liberator expected to be a creature from the Ice Age turned out to be something that looks like the offspring of the Night King of Game of Thrones. The creature was blue and had a pair of human arms and legs. Its face resembled a baby, but its body looked like an adult creature. If we know anything about conspiracy theories and alien enthusiasts, it's that things like this make the hairs on their necks stand up. Naturally, once this image was posted online, many theories came from both camps. Some argued that it was a relic from an ancient civilization frozen in time and waiting to be on Earth, while others stated that we are looking at something of cosmic origin preserved in the icy embrace of the Earth. As the debate raged on, the skeptics and logical ones stated that this was nothing more than an elaborate hoax. They stated that this had to be photoshopped. Looking at the image, I get where they're coming from. But what if, just what if, this is truly real? Think about it. As much as we'd love to properly investigate this and bring you answers, I guess we can't. This footage was taken by a hiker in the woods when he spotted a strange creature lurking among the trees. The creature locks its gaze onto the hiker, but as soon as it realizes it's been spotted and filmed, it swiftly disappears into the depths of the woods. What creature could that be? As you can see, the creature has long brown fur covering its face and body. It looks like an ape, but much bigger and muscled, like a gorilla, but not quite. The creature stands approximately seven to eight feet tall, a description that undeniably aligns with a Bigfoot. However, its facial features are obscured by the long fur, which is uncommon for Bigfoots known not to have long facial hair. So here's what my team think, and I think it could be an entirely new mystical creature or perhaps a different species of Bigfoot altogether. What say you? In the realm of the supernatural, a chilling image emerges, captured by a vigilant trail cam. The photograph reveals a humanoid figure, defying our understanding of what is possible. Its haunting presence evokes a sense of unease as it slowly advances towards the camera on two legs. The creature's pale complexion from head to toe sends shivers down our spines. Its sinister glowing eyes pierce the veil of darkness, seemingly conveying a malevolent intent as if whispering, I will consume you when I draw near. A curious thought emerges. Could this be a mummy, a relic from a long-forgotten tomb, or perhaps a being that has transcended time and space? While rationality nudges us towards explanations of Halloween pranks or skilled photo editing, there is an undeniable air of malevolence emanating from the creature's gaze. What do you think we're dealing with here? Share your thoughts in the comments section. During his night shift, a park keeper was serenaded by these haunting sounds coming from the woods nearby. The eerie sounds resembled peculiar howls, but carried a distinctively human quality. The gatekeeper, with years of experience in his role, attested that he had never encountered such unsettling sounds in all the years he'd worked there. 
Intrigued and determined to uncover the source, the park keeper ventured into the woods for an investigation. However, to his bewilderment, he returned empty-handed, unable to pinpoint the origins of the sounds. What do you think this could be? Could it be the nocturnal activities of an elusive creature, their cries echoing through the night? Or perhaps the veil between our world and the supernatural has briefly lifted, allowing us to hear the voices of ethereal entities? Some even entertain the idea of mischievous individuals, potentially dabbling in occult practices or playing elaborate pranks on the unsuspecting park keeper. What about you? What do you think of the whole thing? Personally, I think there's always a scientific explanation to everything. You know how we've been asking you to send in your footage, and many of you have been hesitating. Well, this capture was sent in by a subscriber of the channel, and you and I are gonna help this person understand what they captured. Looking at the image, what do you see? Julius believes it could be a man in a costume exploring the outdoors, but then again, Julius is just a figment of my imagination. Whilst Aaron believes it could be either an otherworldly or extraterrestrial exploring our lands at night. Given the blurry nature of the capture, there's only so much we can do. But what do you also see when you look at it? Tell us in the comments section. The phenomenon of Bigfoot continues to captivate and intrigue as more and more sightings and videos surface on the internet. In this particular short clip, we're presented with a tantalizing glimpse of a black, hairy creature traversing a verdant expanse of grass. At first, thoughts of a gorilla attempting bipedal movement crossed my mind, but doubts quickly took hold. As we delve deeper into this enigma, it becomes increasingly apparent that this solitary creature striding upright through the wooded landscape defies comparison to known species like gorillas or bears. Could it be that we're witnessing the legendary Bigfoot in action? These musings are merely my own thoughts and imaginative wanderings, but I turn to you to share your own speculations and beliefs. Do you lean toward the possibility of Bigfoot's existence, or do you place this sighting in the realm of unexplained phenomena? Join the conversation and let us know your thoughts in the comment section. In the depths of the unknown, a trail cam captures a bewildering sight, an ethereal orb seemingly defying the laws of nature. Its ever-shifting form intrigues onlookers, prompting debates and speculation. While some suggest mundane explanations such as dust particles or leaves, a closer examination reveals a different story. The orb's movements appear deliberate as if guided by an unseen force. It navigates through the air, defying conventional explanations. Could this enigmatic object be a manifestation of something otherworldly? Could it be a mystical being, a fairy dancing through the night, an angel silently watching over the realm, or perhaps an extraterrestrial visitor from distant galaxies? Or do you think we're simply blowing the whole thing out of all proportion and that there's a logical explanation? If you think there is, please do share it with us in the comments section. <laughs> Our next clip takes us to the depths of a mysterious cave, where a group of intrepid individuals stumbles upon a creature. He had the curious eyes with an otherworldly glow that drew immediate attention to its strange and captivating appearance. Upon closer inspection, the creature's ears exhibited an unusual structure resembling human ears, yet with a distinctive twist. Notably, the lower part seemed absent, while the upper part took on a pointed appearance at the tip. The brave explorers decided they'd stumbled upon something beyond the ordinary, and took matters into their own hands and managed to secure the creature, suspecting it might be a djinn. For the uninitiated, a jinn is a supernatural entity often depicted in Middle Eastern mythology. They said to possess unique powers and exist in a realm beyond our normal perception. But if that's the case, how did these guys manage to capture one, using just physical force? 
Unable to find answers to these, some debate that this may be nothing more than a mutant, perhaps a reptilian man. I know what you're thinking, that's even more ludicrous than the jinn, but how do you explain what we're seeing? While overseeing mountain renovations during construction, a man unexpectedly spotted a figure standing atop the peak, seemingly serving as an unforeseen foreman. As he zoomed in, the realization of what he was witnessing dawned upon him. It wasn't just any mountain-dwelling creature, it was the legendary Bigfoot standing tall and appearing well, rather grumpy. But why would Bigfoot be grumpy? Now, aware that Bigfoot typically inhabits mountainous regions, it became apparent that the construction crew had unwittingly chosen to give the creature's home a makeover without seeking permission. The creature's stance alone conveyed its clear displeasure with the ongoing construction work. It didn't take Bigfoot enthusiasts too long to figure this out, and when they did, they warned the construction workers, but no one took them seriously. Thankfully, no one got hurt, because although grumpy, this Bigfoot had no interest in hurting any humans, just like many of the other Bigfoots we have seen around the world. Hold on to your seats, folks, because today's featured footage will leave you gobsmacked. Feast your eyes on this jaw-dropping capture of a gang of turkeys. That's right, a gang. I mean, well, how else can you explain what you're witnessing? In this remarkable photo, we're treated to the sight of several turkeys gathering together, possibly amid a family meeting. As we zoom in, we can observe a fascinating display of turkey behavior. Some turkeys in the group keep their tails closed and gathered at their behinds, while others boldly flaunt their tail feathers in a magnificent, open, fan-like fashion. It's as if they're saying, hey world, look at me. But let's not be fooled by their impressive tail feather showmanship. These turkeys aren't here to strut their stuff. No, oh, no, they have important business to attend to. With unwavering focus, they meticulously forage the ground, searching for delectable worms and other mouth-watering edible organisms. Talk about a turkey feast. In the end, what we have here is a snapshot of a normal day in the turkey kingdom, immortalized on our screens. The food chain keeps on churning, and these turkeys continue to network and socialize with their feathered friends. Prepare to witness a truly mesmerizing sight, captured by a carefully positioned camera fixed near the front door of a house. In this extraordinary footage, an otherworldly bird takes center stage, defying the norms of avian behavior. Against the backdrop of a serene neighborhood, the bird's movements possess an ethereal grace reminiscent of creatures from the realms of Final Fantasy. As the black pickup truck casts shadows upon the car in the walkway, the bird levitates with unparalleled ease, gliding from side to side without a moment's respite. Its ethereal presence sparks a multitude of speculations capturing the imagination of viewers worldwide. But how is this even possible? Many who saw it believed that it had to be CGI. As the theories came forth and speculations rose from all who watched the video, Gingerbread, the original YouTuber who captured this enchanting footage, stepped forward to provide a closer analysis. He explains that the footage looks like that due to a sink in the frame rate of the camera and the bird's wings in motion. If that's true, then this is indeed a remarkable piece of footage. What do you think, though? This is a bird's eye view of the incident that took place in Miami quite recently. For those unfamiliar with the situation, a significant police presence enveloped the Bayside Marketplace Mall, sparking rumors of an extraterrestrial encounter. Some witnesses even claim to have spotted a tall, unidentified figure in the vicinity, adding to the mystery surrounding the incident. Nevertheless, the Miami Police Department promptly dispelled the rumors, clarifying that the heightened police presence was in response to a disturbance caused by a group of teenagers setting off fireworks and engaging in looting. It was definitively stated that the situation had no connection to anything extraterrestrial. 
Despite the Miami Police Department's assertions, various footage that surfaced after the incident seems to suggest otherwise. In one such video captured from tall buildings in the vicinity, a colossal creature can be observed strolling past the police cars. The figure is unmistakable, raising questions about whether the authorities were attempting to conceal the presence of such a creature or if there's an explanation for the apparent discrepancy in accounts. While on a United Airlines flight flying over Denver, Colorado, a passenger spotted this object fly past them. His initial thoughts were, oh, a bird. But hey, let's be real, if this was a bird, it'd be one super bird. Whatever this was, it was moving at a speed, it would make even the fastest planes look on in envy. Once home, the passenger shared this footage on Reddit and everyone who saw it was amazed. The speculative buzz surrounding this mysterious object undoubtedly sparked countless debates. Many were quick to point out that it was a saucer. This left them all with more questions than answers. Was it a top-secret government experiment, a cutting-edge aircraft with mind-boggling speed capabilities, or dare we say it, a genuine encounter with visitors from another world? UFO enthusiasts and skeptics alike must have had a field day dissecting every pixel of the footage, scrutinizing for clues and undoubtedly conjuring up a plethora of conspiracy theories. Hopefully it's what they hope for it to be. And if it is, then you and I are in some serious trouble. Instead of capturing a typical burglar or intruder, this family's backyard camera reveals something altogether eerie. Floating through the air like a ghostly apparition, this entity manifests as a white smoky presence. It moves with ethereal grace, disappearing behind objects, only to reappear moments later. Its form appears to have arms stretched for it, resembling a head emerging from a body that rolls and undulates, akin to a mesmerizing dive into the depths of water. Truly, this is a spectacle beyond comprehension. As our minds race to find explanations, we must consider the possibility of skilled editing. However, if we dare to entertain the notion that this phenomenon is real, then we find ourselves face to face with the chilling prospect of a haunted house. The lines between the ordinary and the supernatural blur as we ponder the origins of this mysterious entity. Is it a product of clever manipulation or a genuine manifestation from another realm? Only time will tell as we unravel the secrets that lie within the unknown. In the depths of the forest, a trail cam captures a chilling image. A man dressed in a faded blue or lavender top poses innocently for a photo. However, upon closer inspection, the unsettling gaze of a pair of eyes pierces through the frame, raising questions and fueling debates. Blending with the shadows, a mysterious creature emerges, its wolf-like features hinting at a werewolf or a wolfman. The creature's curiosity is palpable as it fixes its gaze upon the man, intrigued by the object he holds. Yet despite the eerie encounter, if this image made its way to the internet, we can assume the photographer emerged unharmed. It suggests that the werewolf's presence may not have posed a significant threat to the man, whether he embarked on a leisurely hike or an adventurous quest akin to the deceptive man from Dora and the Lost City of Gold. In the realm of the unknown, where shadows and secrets intertwine, we're left with the haunting image of the werewolf and the mysteries it holds. The forest keeps its secrets close, revealing only fragments of its enigmatic inhabitants. You know those conspiracies of there being another world within our world? The age-old tale of a hollow earth talk? Well, these guys found something that might just prove that theory. On one of their expeditions, these individuals stumbled upon a strange hole in the ice. Out of curiosity, they took out a camera and lowered it into the hole to look inside. What they found was far beyond their own imaginations. Instead of the expected icy expanse, the camera unveiled dried ground beneath the ice. 
Once this footage hit the internet, many believed this was the evidence they needed to confirm that there is indeed another world existing within our world, aka the Hollow Earth. While some may dismiss it as a quirk of nature or a peculiar ice formation, these individuals let their imaginations run wild with thoughts of subterranean worlds and hidden realms. The Hollow Earth enthusiasts found a glimmer of validation in their unexpected footage. Looking at the footage, I can see why they think that, but do you share in their excitement and enthusiasm? Many don't, especially Julius, my new assistant. Aaron, the believer in all things paranormal, wanted to visit the site, but unfortunately our adventures refused to disclose the exact location and decided to keep it their little secret. Bummer. Next, take a look at this security footage of a backyard that captured something rather sinister. The video starts off with what appears to be a calm night with nothing out of the ordinary. But in a few seconds, we see something emerge from the darkness. Behold, it was a tall, pale figure with an imposing stature that dwarfed the surrounding trees. Standing at an impressive height, estimated to be around eight to nine feet or more, this being appears to be in black attire. The creature's unsettling presence is accentuated by its glowing eyes, casting another worldly appearance. What creature could this be? Is it a wandering zombie, which would explain why it's wearing clothes, or is there more to it? I mean, its height is definitely not human. Or am I sleeping seeing what's not there? What do you guys think? Prepare to be mesmerized by a truly majestic sight captured on trail camp. It's a rare and awe-inspiring event to witness a pack of wolves in their natural habitat. As we delve into this extraordinary footage, memories of iconic wolf tales like Teen Wolf come rushing back. In this incredible clip, we're treated to the sight of a pack of wolves gracefully traversing a snow-covered trail. The scene is both captivating and formidable, reminding us of the untamed beauty of the wild. Most strikingly, the majority of these majestic creatures display stunning black fur, contrasting against the pristine white snow that falls gently around them. Encountering a pack of wolves is an experience that evokes a mixture of respect and caution. Their coordinated movements and shared journey toward an unknown destination create a sense of unity and purpose. It's a testament to the intricate dynamics and survival instincts ingrained within their pack mentality. Let the beauty of these creatures remind us of the delicate balance between the untamed wilderness and our own existence. May this sight ignite a deep appreciation for the wonders of the natural world and leave you in awe of the harmonious dance of life within the realm of wolves. Get ready to delve into the depths of the mysterious, for this next trail cam footage will leave you with more questions than answers. Behold, three eerie figures that defy comprehension, resembling scarecrows stripped of their clothing. Are they hairy beings or more constructs of straw? This enigma is like nothing ever witnessed before. Our dedicated team of researchers has ventured into the realms of myth and folklore, and we've arrived at a tantalizing theory. Could these enigmatic beings be Leshy, a guardian spirit from Slavic mythology said to protect the very heart of the forests? Leshy possesses the ability to take on various forms, an embodiment of nature's power and enigma. While these tales originated from folklore, the trail cam footage raises the haunting possibility that there may be some truth hidden within these ancient legends. What do you think? We start off with this man who saw this bizarre looking worm and put it in his palm. As the man taps the creature, it responds by extending what appears to be a whitish root into the man's palm. This raises the questions about what this creature could be. Leeches, known for their blood-sucking tendencies, typically don't exhibit this kind of behavior. However, the presence of a root-like extension raises questions about the creature's biological characteristics and its interactions with its environment. 
Without much info on this creature, we're torn between speculations on whether this creature is a known species displaying a unique behavior or if it's an entirely new species that has been discovered. Here we have another strange encounter in the wilderness. A TikToker in Japan embarked on a camping adventure in the wilderness, expecting a serene night under the stars. As night fell, everything was normal until this started to happen. The van began to shake aggressively and the door of the van banged loudly. Now, normally, you'd think maybe there's a storm brewing or perhaps some mischievous critter having a late-night party on the van, but the footage from the outdoor camera he had set up shows nothing of the sort. Naturally, this left room for lots of speculation and theories. Some thought it was a spirit trying to send a message, whereas others could swear it was a forest guardian playing pranks on unsuspecting campers. As interesting as each of these theories might be, there's certainly no way to confirm which is true. One thing we can confirm, however, is that the young lad is lucky to have made it out in one piece without any damage to his body or soul. Just a quick reminder before the next clip comes, if you still haven't liked, commented, subscribed, could you do so right now? You wouldn't want me to send Mr. Bigfoot after you now, would you? In the midst of a snow-covered landscape where winter reigns supreme, a scene unfolds that defies our expectation. Two bears grace the frame, one large and black, the other small and brown or tan in color. As we shift our gaze, we notice patches of grass, untouched by the winter's icy touch, scattered across the landscape. A solitary tree stands before us, its branches reaching out like gnarled fingers devoid of life. No flowers, leaves, or fruits adorn its skeletal form. Yet what catches our attention is the peculiar way its massive branches curve and protrude upside down in the soil. An enigma within an enigma. But it's the interaction between the bears that captivates our imagination. The larger bear, a guardian in its own right, extends a helping hand to its smaller companion. Rising on its hind legs and utilizing its powerful hands, it carries the little brown bear offering support and guidance. What led the smaller bear to find itself in such a predicament remains a mystery, perhaps lured by the mistaken belief that the nearby oil storage tank held a different kind of sustenance or a coveted stash of honey. As we watch this extraordinary display of compassion and assistance, our hearts are filled with wonder and curiosity. The true nature of their connection, the intentions behind their actions, elude us, leaving room for speculation and imagination. It's a moment frozen in time, a glimpse into the intricate tapestry of the animal kingdom, where stories unfold in the most unexpected ways. Across the vast landscapes of our world, animals donning majestic horns captivate our hearts and stir our imaginations. In this video clip, we witness a deer in a field or forest, its antlers entangled in the branches of a tree. A predicament that could spell danger in the face of lurking predators. But this deer refuses to succumb to its entrapment. With unwavering determination, it tirelessly struggles, relentless in its quest for freedom. Each failed attempt only strengthens its resolve, turning this moment into a testament of resilience and perseverance. In a twist of fate, a compassionate farmer trekking through the forest crosses paths with the struggling deer. Recognizing the urgency of the situation, the farmer rushes to the deer's aid. With skill and care, they guide the deer, freeing its antlers from the entangled grasp of the tree. Miraculously, the deer emerges unscathed, unharmed by its harrowing ordeal. Now set free, we can't help but wonder, how did it end up in such a situation? While that's a mystery we may never solve, we're certainly glad that it was able to free itself. A trail camera set up in a cornfield captured this pair of glowing orbs among the plants. These lights are so clear that it's hard to ignore. The owner of the image was so puzzled by this that he posted the picture with hopes of finding what this could be. Some say it could be headlights in the distance, but how's that even possible? The distance from the nearest road rules out the headlights theory, 
Others speculate that the orbs could be part of a global phenomenon that we've seen in various parts of the world. You know, the extraterrestrial kind. Then there's others who think they belong to otherworldly creatures crossing into our planes. The theories are endless, but the truth can be just one. What do you think it is? I almost fell off my chair when I saw this next image. The picture was apparently taken on the mirror of a motorcycle. Brace yourself for it. The rider, while on the road alone, noticed a strange woman's head perched on his shoulder. The peculiar woman had her tongue out, and it was oddly longer than a normal human tongue. Her eyes were pre-white, and the skin around her eyes was dark. Keep in mind that when he saw the woman, he was alone on the motorcycle. He hadn't picked up a passenger, and neither had he made a stop that could allow anyone to join him. So who or what on earth was this human sitting behind him? Many in the online community state that it has to be a spirit. Others think the whole thing is a hoax. What do you think? Now, what do we have here? Someone captured this footage of a creature in the woods resembling a hedgehog, but with its own peculiar twist. This little enigma is black with yellow spikes on its head and a mix of white and black spikes on its back, creating a distinctive appearance. It's jumpy with fewer spikes than a hedgehog and a tad smaller in size. Just in case you're wondering what this might be, allow me to introduce you to the mysterious woodland dweller, the Tenrek. These creatures native to Madagascar and parts of Africa belong to the Tenrekidae family and share some similarities with hedgehogs, but with their own unique characteristics. And with that, we end today's episode. Thank you for staying with us. Before you go, there are popular trail cams you've come across that you think we should absolutely feature on this channel. Please tell us in the comments section. And if you personally have odd footage you recorded yourself, you can forward it to us via classifiedcaptures at gmail.com. We'll do the needful analysis and include it in our next episode. We'll also give you the credit, unless, of course, you want to remain anonymous. We can't wait to receive your clips. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with your friends and family. See you in the next one.